हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वाइस ऑफ वर्सिज एंड टुडे वी आर गॉन डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टोन वॉल अटैक फ्रॉम वाइट साइड विच आर टू द क्वीन पॉइंट इन बी फोर एंड इट इज़ नॉट अ वेरी कॉमन ओपनिंग एट हायर लेवल्स बट श्योरली इट इज प्लेड एट क्लब लेवल्स आई हैव श्योरली प्लेड इट एट क्लब लेवल तो लेट्स बिगेन so first of all we are going to talk about the setup for white so the setup for white is uh, as i'm going to show to you it's b4 e3 bishop d3 f4 knight f3 c3 knight b d2 queen c c2 and castle okay uh, i'm going to show it to you in the example like b4 B5, E3, E6, Bishop D3. Surely black has many ways to play here, but I'm going to show you the most common way black plays. And uh, the sequence for moves for white can also change depending upon uh, what black plays and what actually you want to prevent or you want to gain in the opening. So it's. Nevertheless, I'm just here to show uh, actually the setup for white. So this is the setup for white. Uh, the pawn changes of the, uh, this kind. Uh, actually, the e4 square here is weak, but uh, white generally plays knight e5 in this line, and there is quite a compensation for. That weak square. Now uh, this is the setup for white. So the main thing that we see last move that was played by white is queen c2. So what white is doing with move queen c2 is that uh, it is aligning the queen and the bishop in the same diagonal, and hence it is attacking the h7 pawn. Uh, as it is attacking the h7 pawn, and there is only one defender to it, the knight. The white player is tending to play knight e5, such that after exchanging with bishop, maybe, and if he takes to the f1, the knight has to move somewhere, and the x1 pawn will be lost, and there can be a good attack. There will be different uh, ways to play this opening. We can attack on the king side. We can play with the center rooks. Even there are lines where you can just free up this knight from the square, protecting the c5 pawn. You can play with c4. Obviously, you can't play e4 here because the pawn will be lost. There were, but there are some uh, there are some lines in which you can surely play e4. Okay, so let's move on to the second topic. Let me just reset the board. Okay, so the second topic that we are talk about is uh, the different ways that we can achieve the setup. I have just only set up set up the pawn changes. C3, P4, E3, and F4. Okay, so how to achieve it? Actually, uh, uh, you can achieve it anyway. You can play for C4. Even there are lines where you can play the first move with F4, the birds opening, and then you can transpose it towards D4, E3, and C, uh, yeah, D4, C3, and E3, and play the stone wall attack. I have played it many times, but most the most general line is D4. D5, which I show you, E3, E6, F4, or maybe uh, the general line is actually Bishop B3 here. So uh, Black controls G4 square, and as Knight comes here, we play Knight D2, preventing this. Now the main thing here is let us come back to the position. The first move, the most common move, will be D4. Okay, D4. Uh, now let us see what black and the black actually. So the most common move is d5. Let's first take out d5. We will play e3. e3 is the main opening move. Okay. Now you will wait for black's reply. You can actually wait for black's reply here. Black can play knight c6. Black can play knight f6. Knight black can also play something like bishop f5. Uh, in both the moves, knight f6. Or bishop c5. Let's say knight f6. Uh, with white, you need to play bishop d3, preventing knight from jumping here. 
Of course, I can jump here. If I jump here, do not have to take this. Do not take it to the bishop. In this stone wall attack, the most important piece is your white colored bishop, as it is gonna uh, uh, it is gonna you uh, be used in attacking the H7 pawn after the king of black has been captured. Okay, so bishop d3. Let's say uh, black pushes c5. Okay, it's a pawn move. You do not have to exchange this. You have to play c3. If black takes the d4 pawn, you have to take you to c pawn. Okay, you know. Uh, uh, let's see c4 lift this and f4, which is uh, the main language I play. Uh, played usually. Uh, most uh, uh, coaches of you will suggest that this is a very bad structure, right? It is a very bad structure. As you see, three pawns very, but and this bishop will be uh, kept just guarding this pawn. But that is what is opening is all about. We have played openings, uh, played openings uh, like Dutch, where the uh, white bishop is very weak or it's just uh, stuck to its uh, starting position. Similarly, here the black bishop will be stuck to its starting position, but it is it has great composition. You have been knight d2, h3, and then knight and knight jumps, uh, knight jumps, queen c2, and you can do a lot of stuff here. I said, so you do not need this bishop. It will keep prevent uh, keep uh, preventing an attack to your spawn, but you can certainly have any composition. So uh, d2 c4. Yeah, this and now you have to play f4. You have to mainly prevent any knight jumps to e4. And if any knight jumps to e4, you have to uh, stop it with nbd2. And even after it moves, nbd2. And uh, if uh, black anyway threatens to move e5, you have to stop it. So f4 is the most strongly strong move here. Okay, let's say e6 with uh, e this now. You can also play uh, instead. Uh, 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 you can also play h3. Here, if uh, I guess h3 is even better, preventing any bishop jumps. Bishop d6, knight f6, castles, castles. If knight even comes here, and b2, if he takes, take with the bishop. And what well, is all okay? And there are lines where you can go knight e5, you can rook f2. F3 and rook H3. You can attack this pawn. Queen C2, rook C1, and you can uh, just start attacking the H7 pawn and also have control on the C open side. Okay, so this was the first thing to know about D4, D5, and so the second way this can be achieved is D4, D5, E3, Knight F6. So uh, this is not a very common move. Now the first thing Black is doing is preventing e5, which I said you have to prevent. So mostly you say yes. You said just play f4. Okay, I play f4. Uh, next check and to prevent this, we should d3. But here comes the move. Knight to d4, attacking this bishop. Now this bishop is one of the strongest piece in the board on the board. Okay, so. There are games where this has been played, and even uh, after uh, you can play like h3, if it takes the bishop, you can play c2, b3, and you can prepare e4. Yeah, there are games, but uh, I prefer to play it like d4, d5, e3, knight c6, and c3 first. G given uh, what the opportunity to play this, capturing this, knight captures, and then playing f4. This is a very weird type of game. It depends upon your style whether you want to give up to white bishop for advantage. It's like I am saying the Indian engine shows like minus 1.2, which is a very bad signal. But I have a good hold over this position. I have played this many times and I find it quite comfortable. I play bishop e2 instead of d3, knight here, knight f2, knight b3, knight to b5. It's a quite comfortable position in my own life. Okay. Uh, the next thing is if we plays e5, you can just to uh, play something weird. I guess f4 also. If this, yeah, you have to play the bishop to we can't do it to e3 and that up. Uh, but it is a well, it is a called one position as well. So according to me, it's the most common way for black to compensate 
knight c6 you can play f4 surely you can play f4 and if any this kind of things yeah you can play and we need to preventing this or you can play surely h3 r3 yeah, doing better knight takes c takes uh something to check this s e6 castles and d6 to d6 knight here and it is all okay you are going to go to even you are threatening e4 break it's all good okay so is there any other way to achieve the setup yes there is d4 d5 e3 e3 and c5 uh now here black is actually threatening to take your e uh, d4 pawn and uh, the most on way c3 but here come c4 right c4 is actually annoying in my eyes but you can surely play it you can play nbd2 after this you can fit in any type of e4 pawn push uh one way is this the other way is that you can set it again d4 d5 uh sorry, d4 d5 e3 c5 you can either take it yeah you can take it and play something like knight uh uh knight to c3 or you can be, uh, even you can play c4 yeah it has transposed to a rule with it but i have been with this and uh, it has been quite comfortable if you take stake stake and bishop takes yeah, oh sorry that is a bit slender bishop takes and knight is a good position yeah and it shows a good as well uh there is a little pawn but you are ahead in development it is like a gambit kind of thing gambit without uh, actually gambiting and it won but giving uh, giving a isolated pawn and set up you can achieve the set up d4 d5 e3 c5 c3 and let's say it is he doesn't capture you play something in knight here you play f4 prevent this e5 at any cost knight here bishop here e6 and d2 bishop d6 Uh, G F three castles castles E three. You can play here. Now, uh, in such positions, I generally do not like to play Queen C two. As after Queen C two, there is Sir C four, and you have to bring Bishop back. And why are you bringing this Queen to the stack? Because Bishop doesn't help anything. So I just prevent it. Uh, prevent from playing this. And I just play Knight E five first. Yeah. And do not ever think that no uh, that playing in ninety five is a mistake. It is a very good move uh, in almost every line of the stone wall. As uh, if you take with the bishop, you take with the pawn. Yeah, there is a double pawn on the e side, but it is very good as the f file has been opened. And any time, any time you do not want, uh, do not uh, feel like the double pawn is a weakness for you. You can play e four, exchanging that. And getting a good pawn chain here. Okay, this was the lines and the ways you can achieve setup with the stone wall opening. Okay, so that's all for this video. Hope you like it, and if you like it, please like. And if you wanna uh, subscribe to your channel, you know why to subscribe to your channel. because if i put any new videos which i mostly will as i started a channel so you can also put your suggestions in the comments that what do you want me to improve in yeah surely uh, it's like i'm sitting in my room talking to a camera it's a weird experience on the first time but i will surely like to improve whatever you would like to so bye